morning sa ating lahat. Hello, October. Good morning, Tuesday, October 4. Sabi nila, October be good to me. Pero sa atin, God is good all the time. Any day, any month, any year, any time. So, welcome po sa pangalawang day ng ating 40-day journey of purpose-driven life. So, let us pray. Mapagplanong Diyos, pinupuri at dinadakila ka namin. Linisan mo po ang isip at puso namin sa mga di kaaya-aya sa iyo, O Lord. Salamat sa oportunidad na maranasan ang iyong kabutihan ngayong umaga. Santo Spirito, mangusap ka po sa bawat isa as we study your words. We lift up to you everything in the most powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Sabi ni Albert Einstein, God doesn't play dice. Nasubukan niyo ba maglaro ng snake and ladder? Kung saan ikaw na maglala naglalaro, naka ang... Ang basehan ng pagkapanalo mo ay nakabase sa dice. Kung ilan, kung ilang step, kung nakastep ka dun sa ladder, din tataas ka. Kung nakastep ka dun sa snake, di ba, baba ka. So, ganun po, nakabase siya lang sa chance mong manalo sa, sa dice. So, yun po ang larong snake and ladder, mga kapatid. So, nas, ngayon, Day 2, ang uh, um, lesson natin ngayon is You are not an accident. Yun po ang day 2 natin. So, let us read above. Isaiah 44.2 in a contemporary English version. Sabi dito, I am your creator. You were in my care. Even before you were born. So, our God is our creator. And we were in His care even before we were born. So, we are not, or you are not, an accident. Your birth was no mistake. Maybe, you are not planned by your parents, but God planned you. He was not surprised by your birth. In fact, he accepted. He expected it. So hindi po aksidente ang existence existence natin sa mundo ito. Kung bakit po tayo nabubuhay, kung bakit po tayo ngayon nanonood, nakikinig. Ay hindi po aksidente. So your existence is not fate or F-A-T-E, kapalaran, nor chance, nor luck, L-U-C-K. So, you are alive because God wanted to create you to fulfill His purpose. God made every detail of your body. Mga parte po ng ating katawan from head to foot, outside or inside prescribed po rin ni Lord na ganito ang shape ng ating ilong na ganito ang shape ng ilong mo ilong ko ganito, dap, ganito ang shape iba naman ang shape ng ilong mo hindi tayo parehas iba rin ang shape ng mata natin magkakaiba yan wala pong pare-parehas alam nyo ba yung uh, 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 thumb, uh, yung thumb natin yung thumbprint Ito po is iba-iba. Kaya pala, ito yung ginagamit pag may yung mga hindi makasulat. Ginagamit ang thumb. Thumb print. Kasi iba talaga. We are uniquely created. Hindi, wala po tayong pare-parehas. Hindi po tayong magkaparehas. Wala akong kapareha. Wala ka pong kapareha. Kaya talagang we are created uniquely. Na ganito yung um, kapal ng buhok buhok mo ganito rin yung ganito din iba rin kapal ng buhok ko ganito ganyan kanipis ang buhok mo uh, shape ng paa mo haba ng paa kamay yung 
laki ng heart, ng lungs, ganitong lahat po ng detail ng ating katawan, inside or outside, is being planned. It's being prescribed by God. He knows everything, inside or outside our body, because He created us. He formed us. So nothing in your life is arbitrary or nagkataon lang. It's all for a purpose. Kung bakit nag -e exist yan, there is a purpose. Kung bakit ganyan ang shape ng mata mo, there is a pur purpose for it. Nung kilay. Kaya bakit hindi ka mabalahibo? Kasi there is a purpose. Many children are unplanned by their parents, but, but they are not unplanned by God. Siguro hindi nga siya plinan ni Lord, pero God planned her or him. Meron po kaming kapatiran sa church ng testimony niya is he, she is not an unplanned child. But now na-realize niya na he was planned by God and he experienced the love of God in her, and she experienced the love of God in her life. So why did God do all this na bakit create niya ang mundong ito? Bakit create niya ako? Bakit ganito? Bakit ganyan ako? Ganito ako? Ganito ang shape ng mukha ko? Ganito ang laki ng ulo ko? Ganito ang laki ng brain? O bakit, bakit kailangan ni Lord na i-create tayo tapos detailed pa at is at may eh, one by one talaga ng parte ng ating katawan talagang create niya uh, with a purpose because God is love this is the very essence of his character he wanted to make you in order to express His love. God created us. God planned us to exist on this earth because He loves us and He wants us to experience His love. Like, our, like the testimony of our, ng ating, mga, ng ating kap, kapatiran na He was unplanned. She was unplanned by her parents. But God planned her to exist so that she will experience the love of God in her life. So yan po mga kapatid, ang day to natin, you are not an accident. Kaya patuloy po natin subaybayan ang ating 40-day journey ng purpose-driven life at malaman pa natin kung ano yung purpose ng kung bakit tayo nag-e-exist sa mundong ito. So let us pray. Yes, O oh Lord. Ay, sorry, may nalampasan pa akong isa. So, yun po yung day to natin. Thinking about I'm sorry. Yun po yung day to natin is you are not an accident. So now we have uh, things to ponder. So day two, thinking about my purpose. So point to ponder, I am not an accident. Palagi po tayo tandaan yun, na we are not an accident. We are not, you are not an accident. Or I am not an accident. So verse to remember, I am your creator. Your, you were in my care even before you were born. Ito po yung Isaiah 42.2. So, we have some question. Uh, we have a question to consider. So, pwede kayo pong mag-comment kung ano po yung answer nyo dito sa question na to. Uh, Mag-comment kayo sa comment section ng ating devotion ngayong umaga. So, knowing that God uniquely created me. What areas of my personality, background, and physical appearance am I struggling to accept? So, ngayon po nalaman natin 
na we are created by God uniquely. Ano po yung mga parte o areas ng ating personality, ng mga ating attitude, yung ating background of life, and physical appearance that we are struggling to accept. Ako po, ang that I'm hard to accept before is my height. Ang late ko kasi. <laughs> Tapos, ang rinarasan ko pa noon, kasi malalaki yung matata medyo matangkad mga kapatid ko. So, ang rinarasan ko pa noon, talagang pinipilit ko pa na matangkad talaga ako kasi yung size ng pa ako pang matangkad size 7. <laughs> yung mga ganun ba? Tapos, nung nabasa ko tong purpose-driven life before, na I am not an accident. Every detail of my life is being planned or being prescribed by God. Orchestrated by the Lord. Lahat mga circumstances ng buhay ko, ganun. So, I understand na na-accept ko na talagang maliit ako. Ngayon nakita ko yung purpose. Isang purpose pa lang kung bakit ako maliit. Matangkad yung asawa ko. Six footer yun. So, sabi ko, ay, yun pala yung purpose. So, siguro mayroon pang ibang purpose na bakit ako ganun nag-relate ako ni Lord na maliit. So, hindi lang yung, hindi lang yung asawa ko sumatangkad. Baka meron pa akong madi-discover na purpose niya. Bakit ako maliit? So, yun pa yung uh, physical appearance ko din na ma mahirap kong tanggapin before. But now, tanggap na tanggap ko na. Okay, kayo po. Mag-comment lang po kayo. Kung ano po yung mga hindi nyo kayang tanggap-tanggap sa, sa physical appearance o kaya sa life, background nyo, kaya mga attitude na hindi nyo kayang na, na hindi nyo kayang tanggapin. Pero ngayon na nalaman nyo na na we are uniquely created by God. Everything has a purpose. So let us pray. Yes, oh Lord, you are our creator. We are in your care even before we were born. Salamat sa salita mo ngayon. We know we now know that we are not accidents. You created us because you have planned us. You have purpose in our life's existence. Thank you for your love that your love will reflect in our life. We love you, Lord. May your kingdom come. May your will be done in our life as it is in heaven. Amen and amen.